Pierce Morgan, anti-vegan TV presenter, who I've had a couple of debates with over the years, has one trick in the bag when it comes to debating vegans. Hypocrisy arguments. Whenever you mention the severe and sustained mass killing and rights violations committed against animals for an unjustifiable reason, he'll say something like, Ladybirds, bugs, they get destroyed in the production of, of wheat crops, right, so that you guys can munch your bread. Or, they fly in billions of bees to create your almonds and avocados, and in that process, several billion bees get murdered. Or, you know what's also a leading cause of climate crisis? Planes which carry vast amounts of your avocados and your almonds from California and fly them thousands of miles to your table here in your vegan cafes. I don't often speak about the environment as veganism is an animal rights movement, but Beans found some interesting facts that I couldn't help but share. So it's not just Piercy Boy who uses this argument. You can sometimes find local meat advocates deploying this argument too. It usually goes something like this. My local meat is better for the environment than the avocados that vegans fly from across the world. Of course, this is just an appeal to hypocrisy fallacy rather than a genuine argument, because if they believed that to be a concern, they would just not eat beef, dairy, or avocados to help the environment. But in reality, they eat them all. Besides being an appeal to hypocrisy, it's also just plain empirically wrong. You're not just wrong, you're stupid. The premise of the argument assumes that avocados are flown by air, which is not even true, seeing as only 0.16% of food transport is done by plane. The vast majority are actually transported by ocean freight shipping, which is the method of transporting cargo loaded onto vessels by sea. These cargo ships are incredibly efficient, emitting around six grams of CO2 per ton per kilometer, which is about 70 times less than air freight. In other words, the emissions of ocean shipping one kilograms of avocados from Mexico to the UK would amount to 50 grams of CO2, which is a staggering one two hundredth of a percent of local beef emissions. You could literally ship a kilogram of avocados from Mexico to the UK 50 times back and forth, which would spoil the avocados, but it would still be more environmentally friendly than local beef. Now for fun, let's assume that all avocados were transported by airplane for some reason. Air freight emits around 435 grams of CO2 per tonne per kilometre. Local beef emits about 99.48 kilograms of CO2 per kilogram. So based on these numbers, if you took a kilogram of Mexican avocados and flew them to the UK, you would emit 3.7 kilograms of CO2, which is about 1 30th of what it takes to produce just one kilogram of local beef. So basically you could fly these avocados to the UK and back 10 times for fun, and it would still not be as bad for the environment as eating local beef. For perspective, the record for the longest ever flight is a little under twice that distance, at 15,349 kilometers. This would still emit less carbon than local beef. So to recap, avocados are not flown over on planes. They are mainly shipped across in boats, which emit such a tiny amount of carbon that it hardly registers compared to beef emissions. But even if we were to air freight avocados, resulting in about 70 times more emissions, one kilogram of avocados would still only amount to about 3% of the CO2 emissions when compared to one kilogram of local beef. So next time you hear old mate Piercy Boy use this argument to an environmentally conscious vegan, send him this video. Always remember, veganism is about animal rights, but it's always good to have a decent response in your arsenal for other topics as well. Thanks again to Beans for the research, and I'll see you all in the next video.